Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Sierra and I are recording a few days in our life. Well, a couple, today and tomorrow. And so, I'm watching Vegas this morning. Um, I was going to take him on a walk, but then he grabbed a toy and started chewing on it. So then I was going to say, maybe I'll read a little bit and then take him on a walk. I just put my chocolate croissant in the air fryer, so we're not going yet. It needs to cook first. I'm going to try and read a little bit this morning. I just started just for the summer a couple days ago, and I'm already on page like 250, so I could probably finish it today based on how much I read yesterday. So we'll see. Certainly not this morning, but... Good morning, I'm finally saying hello to you for our little days in the life vlog. Um, 6.25, I'm leaving a little bit later than I normally would, but since Megan's letting me work out for a second day in a row, um, I already showered yesterday so I don't have to wash my hair today. So I've got a little more time. So Megan is reading her book and I'm gonna head off and do my workout. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll get some hot tub time, you will see. Vegas. All right, let's go to the gym. It's a little after six thirty, so I'm gonna take Vegas on a walk. Um, I have been reading my book a little bit. Hopefully, I can come back and read just a little bit more. Um, cause I'm probably not gonna leave until like a little before 8, so we should be good. Okay, I definitely spent a good chunk of my morning reading. It is 7.36 and so time to get ready for the day. I read, I just read so much faster when I'm reading like rom-com books instead of like, rather than like fantasy. Cause when I was reading Iron Flame in the morning sometimes, granted I probably wouldn't have read like as long. But it was like I swear I'd like go to like update my page number on Goodreads and it would be like, but you read like 20 pages and I just read like 60, so. I don't entirely remember what my schedule looks like today. Um, I just got told we have a skilled person coming so I'll have to do an eval today. And then I honestly like I don't have anything to pack for lunch, so I'm probably gonna step out and get something for lunch. Just finished my workout. It's eight o'clock, and I am eating my breakfast. I'm still going strong with the strawberry pastry crisps from Special K. And then one of these, obviously. I have no idea what my work schedule looks like today. I feel like it might be kind of full. So we'll see. Um, something kind of new and interesting, I guess, for me at work. Not that I can show you guys. But I got my first like workman's comp eval yesterday. And so someone like that worked at the facility had gotten injured. It's just a knee strain. So it's nothing like super crazy, but um, I'm working with her now for like the next, it's like three times a week for two weeks, but like how it ended up working out is that we're basically just like doing the rest of this week and then doing three visits at the start of next week. Um, hopefully she'll feel better after that. And I know I have, you know, one home health visit that I need to do in the assisted living apartments across the street. And then it'll kind of just depend on how many of like our part B, those are like the people that live there that are getting therapy, they're under Medicare Part B. How many of those people I have on my schedule versus how many skilled people I have on my schedule and if we have like any evals or not. I don't think I should have any evals, but we'll see. All right, I'm getting ready to go in for work. I will try to catch up with you guys around lunch just to give you the update on how many more patients I have to see and maybe when I think I'll be done for the day and what I'm getting for lunch. Right now I'm contemplating 
Really, I'm just thinking I'll probably do Jimmy John's, so I probably will, but something to look forward to. Um, it's actually past lunch. Um, I did end up going to get Jimmy John's, but I went and picked it up with a coworker, so I forgot to mention anything to you guys, and I wasn't recording anything, but I have one more building I'm going to because I have to do a skilled eval there. Um, ideally, I would have started at this building, but I didn't know about the eval until after I got to my first building, um, so it is what it is. It should be fine, and once I finish the eval, I'll be done for the day. Um, I also have skilled eval that I had to finish up my day at that building with, so um, lots of documentation today, but it's been, I think I've been, for the most part, staying on top of it, so that's been good, and it's raining a little bit, which is kind of a bummer, it's kind of, like, it's a little bit colder today than it had been, because um, it was kind of, like, 70s the past couple days, or, like, low, low 70s, high 60s, um, so... Sierra and I, I know, wanted to maybe try and do something tonight, although I do want to finish my book. Um, but I should be able to, even if we do decide to do something tonight. Um, but Sierra wanted to have something going on in the vlog for you guys, so we'll see what we decide on. Alright, it is 4.45, and I'm done for the day. So, I will go home. It looked like Sierra was still at work, so... I'm not sure when she's done for the day. I'm making a quick pit stop at Target because I have a prescription I need to pick up. And I might do a little bit of moseying. Maybe go to the book section. Um, probably not going to buy anything extra. I might get conditioner actually because I do need conditioner. But just like a little bit of moseying and then I will go home. Here's a very quick haul from what I got from Target. Needed more conditioner. I am not someone that has like a loyalty to any specific shampoo and conditioner but trust me it's always worked well for me so that's like usually what i get and so i got conditioner because i was running low i got some new razor blades because i'm also out of those now and i've been in desperate need of some new ones again i have no loyalty to this brand i feel like all razor brands are honestly like the same but i have the flamingo one so lastly i said i wasn't gonna buy a book but i did buy iron flame um i just finished reading it on my kindle and since we're trying to get our shelves downstairs at least a little bit more full and that's supposed to be like our sci-fi and fantasy specific books i wanted to get the physical one since we have the physical copy of fourth wing and so i'm gonna go why is bag is biting my arm my whole entire arm and sweatshirt he's just biting at it so i'm gonna go put this downstairs we're basically like done with the basement so that video the last one will be coming out in a couple weeks we just like to space them out so they're not like back to back but hopefully we can start spending more and more time down there. We just need to like finalize things and get things cleaned up so Vegas doesn't get into anything that's still down there trash wise. I'm gonna show the camera how cute you are. Oh, you're a big boy, oh my God. Oh my goodness, how do you weigh? You're heavy. It's a little past five o'clock. I just finished with work for the day. I'm gonna give you guys a brief rundown of the types of patients that I saw today. It was a decent mix. Um, I saw pretty much all the skilled people that are on my caseload today. Um, right now my skilled caseload is a mix of someone post spinal fusion, so educating her on spinal precautions. She's doing pretty well. She's like independent with her room with a two wheeled walker. Um, she lives typically in the assisted living across the street. She normally uses a four-wheeled walker, and so that was just brought over. We trialed that today. Um, gonna work on safety awareness and progressing her back to using that one. Um, saw someone, I evaluated someone today post TIA, which is a transient ischemic attack. Basically, it's the same thing as a stroke, but the effects typically aren't as long-lasting. Um, he did fairly well. I made him assistive one with his walker. He was pretty well walking like 200 feet with like minimal assist. Um, saw someone with a COPD exacerbation, someone that's like literally, someone's here skilled and he did need therapy like initially and like we're still seeing him on therapy, but he's mostly here just cause he needs to get um, IV antibiotics for like the next a week and a half or something. 
So he's independent in his room in the unit with his walker. And he's ready to go home, but I'm just like, sorry, you gotta finish the antibiotics first. And that's, that doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, any other skilled people? Someone else uh, here post fall, she's doing fairly well. Um, we worked on different like tub shower transfers or like modifications because I don't technically have a lot of the equipment that I need to practice like legit tub transfer because her tub is like an actual tub shower as opposed to a walk-in shower we don't have any tub showers here and so we we're in the therapy gym for a little bit doing like modified transfers and I have different curb steps that I turn on their side and see if she can like step up and over it she couldn't do that so I had her trial what would be essentially the same thing as like a shower bench transfer where the bench is like over the edge of the tub so you sit down on the outside and then you swing your legs over um so she did better with that so i told our department that we should recommend her family gets her a shower bench if she doesn't have one so got that figured out um i only saw one part b person today working on slide board transfers with her to and from bed from her wheelchair and other person i saw I saw a home, home health person in the assisted living across the street um, doing like general strength, endurance, activity tolerance, that kind of stuff. And then the last person I saw was a workers comp. I evaled them yesterday for a knee strain they got while at work. So I saw her today. I did, if you saw the video of the ultrasound and me setting it up, that was like my first time doing ultrasound actually like since I've graduated and like been doing PT like as my own practicing therapist that's the first time I've done ultrasound so I think she liked it though so maybe we'll do it again tomorrow I see her uh tomorrow and like a strain like it's gonna get better I feel like over time no matter what some people like ultrasound so I figured we'd try it out and her range of motion actually looked better today than it did yesterday so we'll see might do it again that's I think all of the big highlights of what I saw today and I'm going to head home. It's kind of spring here right now, so we will see if I give Vegas another evening walk. I want to go to Gatorade that someone from Wellness uh, brought. All right, I'm home, and I've decided it's not supposed to like really keep raining. If anything, I'll just probably keep doing these stupid little sprinkles. But that's never stopped us before. So I'm gonna take Vegas on a walk. It'll probably just be one mile. Um, I need to get my AirPods in. And then let's go, right? Let's go. Gonna get started with making dinner. Okay, so you and I are doing Dunkin' Noodles. If you have watched our vlogs, this is not new at all. But if there's one thing I love, it is something that is easy, consistent, and doesn't take a lot of time. Megan's finishing up her book, and I am getting some ice cream. It's almost nine o'clock. I have literally 10 pages left in my book, so I'm gonna sit in my reading corner, which I feel like I don't get to use very often anymore, and I'm gonna finish my book. I'll give you guys my little review when I'm done. Um, I'm kind of thinking of giving this a 4.25. That feels right right now. Um, and then I'm gonna do my get ready for bed routine, Pack my gym bag for the morning, and then I brought Scythe up with me because I might try and start that when I'm actually in bed. Okay, it's 9.30, 9.45 actually, and I finished my book. I ended up giving it four stars. I was kind of debating if I wanted to give it a 4.25, but then I kind of thought about it a little bit more. And I do think out of all the Abby Jimenez books I've read so far, which I've read like this is my... Um, fourth one. I think this is my third favorite and I only say that because like I love her part of your world duology series like that's part of your world and then yours truly. I think I liked both of those more than this one even though I did really like this one too. I technically rated them all four stars but I just feel like because I know I rated those other two four stars I couldn't rate this one higher. Um, this one was definitely like a little different than the other ones. It wasn't like your typical rom-com. There's a little bit more like childhood trauma stuff, like you can check trigger warnings. Um, I don't really think it was anything like too crazy, but um, I still really liked it. 
Anyways, I'm gonna do a little gym bag, what I put in my gym bag segment, um, just to keep things maybe a little interesting. Okay, I've shown this bag a couple times in our vlogs, but this is a bag from Athleta. I don't know the name of it, um, but I really, really like it. I like the size of it, but I also feel like given that I take a lot of stuff with me to shower and like my shark flex style, like I definitely couldn't use a bag that's like any smaller than this. Um, so anyways, I keep a small robe in here that I bring with for when I shower and like am getting ready in the morning. I have my flip-flops that I buy from Target and then um, I have like a face lotion and some body lotion in here and then I have a heat protector. This was just from the dry bar and then this is Co thickening spray. I got this like a while ago just like at a hair salon because it smells really good. Does it actually help provide volume to my hair? I don't really know. Okay, sometimes I will pack some makeup stuff and then I'll decide if I actually want to like wear makeup in the morning. Usually if I do, it's just like this pixie blush. I've really been liking this actually. I wasn't sure how much I was going to use it, but it's like so simple and I just like how it looks. And then this is a brown mascara from L'Oreal and then this is a clear mascara. Okay, then I bring, this is how I like put this all together. It's a one velcro roller because that's all I bring just like for my front section of my hair. And then I have a pin around that to pin it in place. Then I have a scrunchie for when I section my hair and I'm done with my bottom section, I'll put it in a scrunchie. Then I have a clip attached to it to, to section the top part of my hair. And then I bring my Shark Flex style to style my hair. Um, that has different attachments to it, but I just prefer this one the most. And I used to bring my blow dry attachment as well, but the gym already has blow dryers. So I just bring this one and blow dry with the actual blow dryer they have there until I'm ready to style. Um, I use my deodorant in the morning. I should just get one to keep in my gym bag, but I don't have another one, so I just throw this in in the morning after I'm done getting ready. I need clothes for tomorrow. Okay, I need to change the clothes, obviously. Alright, so that should be everything. Um, and then I need to just lay out the clothes that I'm going to work out in tomorrow. Alright, that's it for my night routine. We will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Getting up to go work out this morning. I did allow myself to hit snooze one time, so it's a little bit after 6 o'clock. Um, I'm just doing 12, 3.30. Um, slash walking on the treadmill while I read this morning, so I did let myself sleep in, as if I don't like also sometimes hit snooze other days. I am going to start my day at Independent Living, and I've got an eval and then a another person I'm seeing. Um, technically they're at two different buildings. I'll call them sister buildings, we'll say. Um, and then... I'm gonna come back here around like 11.30 to eat lunch and then let Vegas out. And then I'm finishing my day at one more building to do a discharge for a skilled person. And then as of right now, we have like three skilled evals that I'm supposed to do today. My rehab director was looking to see if she could get a peer in person because like that's kind of a lot. Um, I'm sure I could manage, but that is a lot of documentation. So, two to three evals probably to finish up the day. I also did start Scythe last night. I'm only like 17 pages in because I just read like the first chapter so I could like say that I started it on Goodreads. So, I'm gonna keep reading that when I go to the gym and I'm walking the treadmill. everyone happy Friday um my first time talking to you today I woke up at six took Vegas on a walk then it's breakfast which I think he's still in the process of eating um made myself breakfast I made a breakfast sandwich and now it's 6 45 which means I have plenty of time to do some more reading this morning so I showed you guys uh the book that I'm reading right now Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. It's the second book in the Villains duology. The first first book is Vicious and Yesterday before bed I got you about like the halfway point. So I'm enjoying it. Um, my goal is to finish it today, but I doubt it's going to happen um, Hopefully this weekend though. So 
You can read for a little bit, hang out with Vegas, and then get him to work. All right, I am killing a little bit of time in my car, but I'm finally gonna get ready to go inside. Like I said, my first appointment, if you will call it that, I mean, it is, but it's not until 8.45, so I've kind of been killing a little bit of time. I read like 10 more pages of my book, and now it's like 8.25, so I'm gonna go in, do a little bit of chart review, hopefully see what I've got in the office to go off of, and get ready to go see them. I'll probably check in um, once I finish my eval here, and I'm going to my second building. I finished up my eval. I'm on my way to my second building. Um, my eval I actually thought went really well. I got like a lot of uh, special tests and standardized tests. Not special tests, standardized tests done. Um, so I can actually make make good goals. Um, sometimes it's skilled with skilled evals because that's not what that was. It's harder to get a standardized assessment done. Um, whether it's cognition, whether it's just like the patient usually gets there from the hospital and then you're trying to go in and do an eval and they're like so worn out that like they can't complete a full assessment. Um, but this person was very, they had been somewhere else skilled and then like they were a new resident for the assisted living facility. And so we're picking them up just to kind of like ease that transition a little bit. And so it was just like, you could tell that he had been active before and it was good. So going to do my next person then it'll be time for lunch already because I only have two people this morning with my later appointment start time and my drive between buildings and that's just how it's working out so I do think I still have three evals and a discharge at my last building today which I will get through if they don't have someone else to cover one of the evals I don't think it'll be the end of the world um, so yeah that's my update for the day it's a lovely day, it's nice and sunny out. Um, so, since I'm not so focused on needing to finish my book today, like I was yesterday, maybe Sierra and I will try and come up with something fun to do. All right, I am gonna go home to let Vegas out and eat lunch, and then um, I did get told that my day will just be finishing off with two evals instead of three, so that is a nice surprise. Vegas is hanging out outside because it's such a lovely day out. We'll see. You're right now he's just sitting, being a good boy. We'll see if he lasts. Um, having leftovers for my lunch today. And then I did also get a Coke out. Um, I did look at um, the Iowa Cubs schedule because it's so nice. And I was like, okay, maybe if they had a home game, we could go do that tonight. Um, although I have no idea what their schedule was, so I didn't even know if they had a game today. They do have a game tonight, but it's an away game, so that does us no good. I might sit here and try and come up with some ideas. And if I come up with anything promising, I will let you guys know. Alright, I'm getting ready to go to my last building. I hang out here just a little bit because my other building is finishing up lunch, so I didn't want to get there too early. Um, cause I think both of my skilled people are already there, so I should be able to just jump right into doing the evals. Um, but I was looking at different things that maybe would be options for us to do tonight, and I was texting Sierra, I was like, okay, I'm gonna send a list of things as I see them, while I was, like, looking on my phone. And I only found one in terms of, like, a unique thing that we would actually maybe do, and that would be, um, the Blank Park Zoo does something called wild lights or something like that. I think it's just like they have fun different lights at the zoo at night and we could do that if we wanted to. Um, so we'll see what Sierra says. We'll see if we want to do that. Um, but I'll talk to you guys probably after I'm done with work for the day. It is 3.45. I am done for the day. Um, I low-key think I forgot about my discharge when I was going in there so I did have one other person to see. Um, but I'm going to head home and it is a lovely day out. Sierra said that she got back to me about my suggestion for the um, lights thing at the zoo and she apparently looked at ticket prices, which I had not yet. And she said that it was maybe more expensive than she'd wanna pay. So, still in the works on that. All right, I just got home. It's too nice outside for me to not take him on a walk. I would feel bad. So, 
I think that I'm going to get changed, and then Mr. Vegas and I will go on a nice walk, because I've got an episode of Match Made in Manhattan I can listen to. I got something for ya. Hey, hey, hey. Let me put it on ya. Oh god. <sighs> I just got back from work. I was done around 5.30. My day consisted of seeing pretty much all my skilled people that I have on my caseload and other skilled people that I don't normally see because my other therapist was gone today. Um, I had a skilled admit that came in that I had to see, had a home health person, and then my workers comp for like the knee strain. I have MA today too. And now I'm trying to figure out what Megan and I should do for our evening. Megan and I just had dinner place. We are continuing our excursion at the mall. We're getting stuck. <laughs> um, nothing really in mind, but I am, I think, on the hunt for a denim shirt vest oh, somewhere. Oh, yeah, because we've been wanting the vest. So. Yes. Or just like any vest, maybe. We'll see. So. Okay, it is a little bit past nine o'clock. We're going to get Vegas put in his crate and then Meg and I are probably gonna go upstairs and read a little bit. We were just watching The Gentleman, which is I think a relatively new series on Netflix starring Theo James. I don't really have any thoughts on it yet. I don't know if we'll keep watching. We'll see. Um, we have been giving Vegas some little nighttime <laughs> treats. Um, I don't know if they technically have like melatonin in it or something, but it's supposed to help be like calming and the idea is to see if it helps him sleep a little bit longer, something kind of hit or miss, but he likes them so I can show you guys us doing his little tricks with them. Stay. Okay. Good boy. Oh, you're So that's going to do it for this little two-day vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we are going to go to bed. We will see you in our next video. I think it's going to be a week in our life. So weather's warming up. Hope we have some more exciting stuff to show you guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.